Tire pressure monitoring systems monitor air pressure directly via a sensor inside each tire or indirectly via the anti-lock braking system's wheel speed sensors. These two TPMS systems are designed to alert the driver when tire pressure drops by 25% or more than the target tire pressure by displaying a low-pressure warning light on the dashboard. If your TPMS light flashes for a short period immediately after you start your vehicle and then stays lit solid, there's a problem with the monitoring system. The most common cause is the failure of an individual sensor due to a dead battery. TBMS sensor batteries typically last 7 to 10 years and eventually need replacement. Direct TBMS is preferred by many because it can accurately report the pressures of each tire and usually will allow you to check the air pressure in each tire at any time you like from your driver's seat. Indirect TPMS is less expensive since there are no dedicated sensors. It uses the information from the existing ABS wheel speed sensors. Also, there are no batteries that will eventually fail, which makes system maintenance minimal. Indirect TPMS relies on a TPMS reset button to set a baseline to measure wheel speed against. The reset button is pressed when the tires have been checked manually and pressurized to the proper amounts. The system will trigger an alert when the wheel speed changes enough from the baseline wheel speed set by the reset button. You can determine which system you have by referring to your vehicle owner's manual. You can also assume that you have direct TPMS if the actual pressures of each tire are displayed on your dashboard or infotainment system screen. Direct TPMS is the more common and accurate of the two types of tire pressure monitoring systems. It uses battery-powered wireless tire pressure sensors in each tire to monitor the air pressure. The sensors broadcast the tire pressure and a unique identifier to the TPMS computer. The sensor's unique identifier is used to determine which position around your car or truck the sensor is located. Any time your tires are rotated on a direct TPMS equipped vehicle, the sensors must be resynchronized with the TPMS computer. Resynchronization is required so the monitoring system can understand where each sensor is located around the car or truck. The procedures for resynchronizing TPMS sensors can vary wildly between vehicle manufacturers. A small handheld computer often referred to as a TPMS tool, is frequently used to resynchronize the sensors. But this is not always the case. You'll need to look up the specific resync procedure for your vehicle make and model if you're servicing your tires yourself. TPMS systems are great tools for alerting you to an emergency tire pressure situation. Unfortunately, since these systems are designed to detect large pressure drops of 25% or greater, Regularly checking tire pressure is still recommended. Regularly checking the air pressure in your tires will help ensure optimal fuel efficiency and good tire wear over time. If you'd like to learn more about tire pressure and tires in general, check out tiregrades.com.